And this will be the great ending to the video. I'll just have this maybe like pan in. Maybe no one will notice how wobbly I am. And that'll be it. This will be my, what's the name of those? What's that one? What's that one movie? Citizen Kane. This is my Citizen Kane. When I've seen this done before, one of the problems that arose for people was that even when you hammer the outside, the inside remains pretty loose, and that leads to the ball warping when you hammer it, which leads to cracking on the outside. So what I tried to do was hammer it as I went along. I don't think it was very effective. I think I needed to hammer it way more than I did, but it was also a huge pain in the butt because I was trying to roll up the ball, keep it in one piece while also hammering it uh, without tearing it too badly, and uh, it was just not really worth it. So it turns out that hitting something with a hammer a thousand times is actually quite loud. So I tried quite a few different things to dampen the sound a bit. Nothing really worked that well, but it was like two in the afternoon, so I decided it was fine. So after a while, I switched to this steel hammer, 16 ounce, and that worked a lot better for condensing the ball, but you'll see as it goes that it leaves these giant gouges when you don't hit it directly on, and it's pretty hard to hit it directly on every single time on a round ball, especially when you're moving pretty quick. So it left some pretty deep gouges that remained through the entire process. You'll see them even at the end. It's interesting to look back and see how the sound of the hammer hitting the ball changed over time as it became more and more dense, and I'm sure that my neighbors also very much enjoyed that change over the, the few hours that it took. You also notice this big flap that appears on one side. Um, I couldn't really get rid of it. I wasn't really sure how. I think maybe if I tore it off at the beginning it might have worked, but I decided it was just a good reminder that it was just a roll of aluminum foil to begin with. So it's, it's just a happy little accident. So this is where I forgot to start actually recording. So just pretend that I'm there smacking that ball with a huge hammer.
so I sanded this ball for like two and a half hours and uh, even sped up at like 1200%. It's really boring to watch, so I cut out like almost all of it. I used sandpaper from 1500 to 7000 grit and it eventually got to the point where it was extremely smooth, almost disconcertingly so, and then I decided to start the polishing process. This, this, it said microfiber, but I don't think we're at that stage yet. I think we're at, we're at dirty old cloth stage. Dirty piece of shit cloth stage. I used Mother's Aluminum Polish for this, and it's pretty boring to watch, so I once again cut a whole bunch of it out, as it's already a super long video and I'm not sure why anyone is still watching. But the end result is that we got a really shiny, pretty solid ball with a density of around 1.9 grams per milliliter cubed, which is about two thirds a uh, ball of solid aluminum, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. I saw some others online that didn't even get theirs below one, it was still floating, and that just seems like laziness to me, so aspire to be better. Ain't she a beaut?